from the U.S. Bank Studios in downtown Cambridge, Ohio, it's Talk of the Town. Welcome back to a new edition of Talk of the Town. Uh, this week we sit down with Bob Lommers. Bob, how are you doing this morning? Doing great. I always say upright and able to take nourishment. As long as I can do that, I don't complain. Isn't that a good thing? You got that right. <laughs> Bob, you represent PERI. Yes. What the heck does that stand for? PERI is uh, Public uh, Employees Retirees Incorporated is the official name. Uh, and it's made up of uh, uh, people that are uh, in the OPRS retirement system. So Ohio Public a pub, Ohio Public Employees Retiree Retirement okay. System, so yes. So they can become members of this organization? Correct. Okay. And um, what is the mission of this organization? Well, the main mission, of course, is to uh, uh, maintain our um, uh, OPRS pension and benefits. And um, uh, as a sounding board for OPRS, uh, we communicate back and forth. We have uh, uh, people that attend our meetings, and it's a link with our local people here mm -hmm. uh, with the folks in Columbus who are uh, working with the laws that affect OPRS. And making decisions. Making decisions, and right. Important decisions that you guys are going to represent the retired employees in that right. respect. Right. Yeah. So uh, you say it's for Ohio uh, retired That's who can be members? That's the only people that can be members right. of this? Right. They, they need to be uh, getting a check from, a retirement check from Ohio Public and uh, employee retirement system. Okay. Yeah. So, so as long as they're they they qualify if they're if they reach uh, meet right. that right. Uh, criteria. Um, so why would someone become a member? Um, the it's it's an informative group. In other words, we have um, uh, a chapter or yeah a chapter here in the county. Uh, we meet the uh, second Tuesday starting in February throughout the year. Okay. And um, not only do we have people come from uh, Columbus, uh, from the legislature, but we also uh, have local people who talk about things that might affect our, our retirees mm -hmm. in the area. Okay. And um, have so you, programs on that. Yeah. Okay, so you meet, where do you meet? We meet down at the Guernsey County Senior Center. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, is it a, a relatively new organization? Uh, I believe the organization been around for 60 years. Oh, okay. So um, uh, we have, of course, a state organization, an office uh, uh, in the Columbus area, and um, uh, they coordinate that area. We also have uh, representatives from throughout the state that serve on a board with that group. And we were talking off camera, and there's some local people on that board. Right. Marlene Bond is uh, uh, the first vice chairman of the uh, state organization. Okay, and yeah. she's right out here, you say, in the London area? London area, right, okay. right. So. And um, so, so basically, they, 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 they are the voice of the retired employees. Right. When it goes, right. when they go up to Columbus and they're, are there dues involved? Uh, what's, it, what's it cost to be a member? Can okay, you tell do, me that? Yes, to be a member, uh, they, they need to be a member of the state organization. Okay. And uh, the, the dues for that is $20 a year. And um, uh, and then our local chapter uh, dues is five dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah. Annually, just five dollars a year. Right. Yeah, that's pretty right. inexpensive. Yeah. <laughs> that's easy to afford in most cases, don't you right. think? So, uh, anything else you want to talk about about that organization? Uh, well, um, and people probably wondering what I get out of it. Uh, hmm. Basically, uh, uh, as far as the local chapter, and that's where uh, I like to think we we do most of it. Mm -hmm. uh, is um, uh, just the communication, the information that we're getting for people. Uh, uh, I guess the other thing that's pretty important to me is the uh, new people I've met in the area because mm -hmm. of the local chapter, people that I probably would not have known otherwise. So, oh, cool. Yeah. So tell me how. Uh, who do I get a hold of? What number do I call? How do I become a member? Okay, if, if I want to suggest that uh, uh, people contact the um, state office because uh, uh, to be a, a chapter member, mm -hmm. they first need to belong to the, the state organization. Mm -hmm. And if they go online, they can find an application. And uh, the uh, website is operi.org. Be, be sure and put the O in front of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there will be a form pop up like this oh, okay. uh, that is an application and has the fees on it. Uh, there's also uh, a life membership for people 
A lot of people, when they first retire, they'll sign up for the life membership. Mm -hmm. And of course, spouses of people who were uh, employed on the OPRS program can also belong okay. for $15. Oh, okay, so, cool. Um, and of course, you probably want a phone number. Um, You've got it on your Yeah, list I've here. got an 800 number here. Yeah, that 800 Westerville. number. Yeah, 800-222-7377. And it looks like you, you've got a meeting coming up. Yeah, we have a meeting coming up uh, the 11th of February, mm -hmm. <coughs> 2 o'clock at the Senior Center. Okay. Um, we're going to have Sean Gress on the program. Oh, okay. And he's going to talk about the Senior Center. But more importantly, he's going to talk about some of the services that are offered to seniors in Guernsey County area. Okay. that they can get in contact through the Guernsey Center. Uh, right. We also were surprised when uh, we found Red Cross has a program for smoke detectors oh. uh, in the home, and he's going to be there to talk about that program. Okay. Good deal. That's February 11th, uh, 2 p.m., right down here at the Guernsey County Senior Center. Bob Lommers, thanks for coming up. Thanks Appreciate for it. allowing us to be here. Yeah, and letting us all know about your organization. Okay, thank you. We'll be right back after these messages. Talk of the Town will be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. The Old Country Loft in Byesville is full of quality country primitives and a whole lot more. Ruth Dixon and her crew bring you the things you need to decorate your home with country charm and warmth. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home. And personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a, a great, great place to live, work, and play. play. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash yrptv and be sure to subscribe. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Recently we talked with Stephanie Fallsgraf from Hospice of Guernsey and also Misty Smith down here at AAA9. They've got a volunteer fair coming up here on February the 13th. And this is what they had to say about that. Yeah. How you doing? Very nice to meet you. Misty and... Stephanie, <laughs> how you doing? You got a volunteer fair coming up, yep. and you guys are joining efforts, I understand. Yes. What's happening? Um, on February 13th, we're getting together, and we've invited local agencies and organizations to come down to Area Agency on Aging, and um, we're trying to recruit volunteers to come help out all the organizations that need volunteers. Okay, so you're kind of coordinating and letting people know where they could volunteer if they'd like to. Yes. And there's several people in town that could use volunteers. I guess I never realized every agency hired or needed volunteers, I should yeah. say. Yeah, um, we um, accept volunteers from high school up to retirement age. Um, we need people in to help with office work, um, helping with informational packets, putting them together, um, just doing different tasks around the office. Mm -hmm. Also, um, we offer internships um, for local colleges and things, for social work, nursing programs, okay. and things like that. Great. And that's exactly what Area Agency does. They basically provide services for folks, elderly, uh, low income, if you will. Uh, I only say this because my wife works there. I don't, I'm not that educated. But you're providing services to the folks out in the community, and volunteers aren't going to go out to those homes necessarily. You need yeah. them to do administrative things in the office yeah, our, to kind of help the... We have like a farmer's market coming up that they're working on program um, that they can help with that, and um, we have the older adult extravaganza where we mm -hmm. need volunteers to help with that type of stuff okay. too, so in office and out of office sure. type and, things. And Stephanie, hospice now, I'm currently still a volunteer for Hospice of Guernsey. Um, 
and it could be a different situation there. Volunteers are needed in all aspects. Yeah, and it's it's really becoming something that a lot of people aren't as involved in anymore. Um, busy lives, you know, we don't have a whole lot of time. But it's amazing to know that even just a few hours a month can make a difference in somebody's life. Mm -hmm. um, we have our volunteers do a range of different things from office work to um, providing respite for our hospice families. Um, there is an extensive background check and things that we put our volunteers through as you know, I'm sure you know is necessary because mm -hmm. we don't want just anybody um, providing those services. But there's just so much that one person can do to make a difference um, in our community by volunteering. So we're really trying to have this event to let other people know just how much we can do to help the lives of people around our area. And it's very rewarding. I've made the statement before, I kind of like my volunteerism better than my job. Yeah. <laughs> and it's true. I enjoy going out and helping in the community and doing different projects. And um, like I say, with hospice, uh, you actually interact with the patients in some cases. And it's helping them out. Somebody that's bed, bedridden, uh, not going anywhere for a while, you know. Right. Can just somebody to sit there and talk to them. And uh, we have such wonderful volunteers. They have dedicated a lot of their time um, to our mission and providing services to these families. Um, it's just amazing to hear the stories that they come back with, um, especially with our veteran to veteran program. Mm. Um, we have veteran volunteers that will go out and do services for our veteran patients. And the connection that happens between those individuals is just something that words can't describe. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful thing and it makes you feel so great to volunteer and to do something for someone else. Yes, and like you said, it doesn't take a lot of time. Maybe you're no. gonna go sit in somebody's home for an hour mm -hmm. so the husband or wife can go to the store, if nothing else, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, down at Area Agency, and, and we wanna talk more about the event itself because we do want people to come out. Yes. Let's mention again uh, when it is, Thursday, February 13th. Yep. So. And you got it from 2 to 5 p.m. Yes. Now, area agency down here, it's a lockdown. I know that. You can't go in. I can't even go in and say hi to my wife. <laughs> um, and it used to be, it was fine. I would walk in, and there's a lot of HIPAA stuff going on these days, and I right. realize why I'm not allowed in the building. But... <laughs> you can come in the main from the main street, um, yeah. and it's not locked. And then just come up to the secretary, and she'll yeah, get and, you where you and need she'll to let go. you know where to go. <laughs> the building has been refurbished. Norm Blanchard yes. was on earlier in this show, and he mentioned the the fact that that building has been refurbished, and it's beautiful in it there. Is. It's amazing. You got some beautiful rooms, and I'm sure this will take uh, place in one of those conference rooms or something. Our large conference room in the front doors. Yep. Yeah, so, so we have plenty of parking. Um, they can park on the main street or back behind the building. There's mm -hmm parking so yep just come on down and refreshments will be provided so you're gonna yep. have like steak dinner and <laughs> <laughs> we wish <laughs> finger sandwiches and stuff like that <laughs> so are you guys the two that are coordinating all this Yes, we're working together um, along with uh, our Hospice of Guernsey Volunteer Coordinator, Kathy Williams. Okay. Um, and if any organization would like to be part of this event, if they would like to come and talk about their volunteer programs, um, just get a hold of us, um, call Misty or call our office, mm -hmm. and we would be happy and more than welcome to have you come in and talk about what your agency has to offer. Okay, and I know the hospice number is 740-432-7440. And I don't know the agency's number. Uh, they can email me at okay. msmith at aaa9.org. That's easy, easy enough. Thank you both for coming up. Good luck with the event. And Thank like you. I said, I will continue to be a volunteer in several organizations. And it's a very rewarding thing to do. Yeah. And uh, it can be educational as well. Uh, if you don't know what hospice is all about, um, it's nice to find out what it is. It's, it's, a, it's a good program and a much needed program mm -hmm. uh, in that person's uh, time of their life. So anyway, thanks for coming up. Thank you for thank having us. Thank you very us. much for coming up. Misty, Stephanie. And thank you for thank what you Thank you, ladies, and a couple of nice organizations there. You need to get uh, volunteer, get down to the volunteer fair. It can be very rewarding. Um, and we'll be back right now after these messages. Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. 
The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Cambridge is more than just a town. This is our home. Supporting downtown Cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love. For the stuff we can't get anywhere else. Food that tastes like home. And personal service from people who know your name. The money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a a great great place to live, work, and play. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. For a show schedule of upcoming guests and to watch past episodes, go to yourradioplace.com. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We've got a treat for you here today. We've got Dr. Burt Jones. I've got this pain. I've had... Yes, let me have a look. Could you take a look? I see that. It's got to come out. (laughs) I'm going to start over. (laughs) You going to keep that? I should keep that. We can keep it. We're keeping it. Let's keep going. (laughs) So what are you really here for? (laughs) Thanks thanks for for looking uh, in my mouth, by the way. Our annual... Singing Valentine's, yes, Cordial Chorus, which is the Cambridge Barbershop Chorus. Yes, sir. We've been, this was our 19th year, and it's going to be held on Valentine's Day, which is the 14th. February 14th. And uh, they, you can call in for your Valentine's. Mm-hmm. You can call in two numbers, either mm-hmm. 439-5551 okay. or 432-5638. <sighs> Uh, and that's the second on the screen. number is Don Brown's number. Oh. The first number is my office number. Oh. And you call in and you ask them what, uh, who to, yeah. the address, <laughs> and, uh, and also it costs $25. Ah. And you get candy, flowers, and a song. Uh, we mm-hmm. have four songs, and you really? have a choice of those four songs. And you're going to give us a sample today, aren't you? I, I think we will. Yeah. I got a church I go to, First Baptist over yes. here. We got a pastor named no. name's John. Yes. He gets Second up Second John. He gets up in front of the cor- of the congregation and yes. he'll talk to the men of the congregation. Okay. And he's got this DBD that he talks about. Don't be dumb. Okay. And he's talking to the men. Not don't forget Valentine's Day. Don't forget her birthday. Don't forget your anniversary. Okay. Yeah, so <coughs> That's that's a good man. So, you know, he, he makes sure that... <laughs> I think we should live by DVD every ah, day. Yes, DVD. I think so. Show, we, it's it's Have you part got of your sermon. Called in? No. 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 Well, I'll let... But I've got, got a nice time. card. i got You've a nice got card. Time. I, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I took care of it. So I'm looking Good. over here at my pastor talking to yes. him right now because he yes. basically... Yeah. Did we talk... Uh, is this a real segment? Are we it's actually... Oh, we're we're keeping it. it? We're doing it. Did he get anything out that he wanted yeah, to? Yeah. Do I need yes, to do anything I got else? All, I got all the important information. Okay. And the deadline... Deadline. ...is the 13th, which is oh, the day, day before, before. Well, that's not much of a deadline. At 5 o'clock. Oh, psh. That's great. That's I mean, deadline. if you're going to be stupid or dumb as... That's right. Yeah. You got all that time. Up I, until 6 o'clock the day the thir- before. the end of the 13th to get your calls in. While you're standing in line at the dollar store looking for that cheap card that everybody... <laughs> You said that. The two I for didn't. a dollar. You know, well, I got to get one from the dog, too. Okay. I mean, <laughs> anyway. You want to give these guys we, a chance to sing? Yeah, let's, these guys are all standing here. Some of them would have you, jobs. Would you like for us to sing a number? Could you sing a number oh, for we've us? we've got a couple we're going to Thank you. Them. I appreciate that. All right. We'll so get to we'll, it. We'll be right back when uh, these guys start singing. Let me call you sweetheart. I'm in love.
bring a message to you. And somebody's wishing good day to you too. They love you. They really do. They say, won't you be mine? Be my own Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach, as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Hey, that'll do it for this edition of Talk of the Town. We want to thank Bob Lommers for coming up of the PERI Association and also uh, Stephanie uh, Fallsgraf and uh, Misty Smith. They uh, were in again to talk to us about that volunteer fair coming up here. And also uh, we want to thank uh, the Chords of Chorus, my goodness sakes. They come up and Bertie Jones and all the guys sang that uh, for uh, my wife Pat and we appreciate that. So happy Valentine's Day, Pat. And that'll do it for this edition of Talk of the Town.